The number of car thefts in our region have increased recently, but our local police departments and sheriff's offices have been working diligently and cooperatively to assist those affected. In the last week, we've had three auto thefts, uh, two locally, and one hadn't made it to Pennsylvania before being recovered. It, of course, it happened at Walmart parking lot. The two most recent ones were uh, from CarQuest. A guy came by and just found a car with keys in it, and it happened to be one of the workers at CarQuest car. You know, we got lucky on that one that there was a, uh, an employee also that works at CarQuest and knew the car and seen it being taken and got behind it and followed. We recovered it down in the coal run area. And yesterday we had got a, received a call from National Police Department of a car they had entered and supposedly being coming up in our, into our area and through GPS and stuff, you know, we were able to locate the car yesterday over at Zebulon at a pharmacy over there and uh, made two arrests out of that vehicle also and recovered the car. The one yesterday, you know, they did charge the driver with uh, driving under the influence of drugs and intoxicants and uh, that one possibly was drug related yesterday. There was two brothers and he took his vehicle down the national area so and he came all the way back up to here so you know, definitely, you know, there was drugs involved in that one yesterday. If they notice a vehicle being taken like that, the best thing for them to do is keep back away from the vehicle and contact police by phone and let them come in and try to keep their locations to the police dispatch and let them know where they're at. And, you know, eventually the officer will catch up or there'll be one in the area that can get to them. Then let them take control of it at that point. As far as trying to stop somebody nowadays in time, you know, it, that's kind of up to the individual. You know, I wouldn't recommend it because, you know, today's times are dangerous. We have countywide jurisdiction, so if it happens here and it goes out in the county, we're going to follow it out there and we're going to pursue it and we're going to get it. You know, we're going to try our best to recover it and do the things we do every day. And luckily, like I said, the last three, the one was recovered eight hours away from here in Pennsylvania by another police department, luckily. And these other two, we was, we was able to uh, have those in a matter of minutes. You definitely want to lock your vehicle and take your keys. And a lot of these cars now, you know, have a push button locking system on them and they want to leave their keys in there so just be aware that you know people have door jimmy tools they have all kinds of ways to get in there and once they get the keys the keys will let them take the vehicle out of there so just take your keys with you and it's not going to hurt anything keep valuable items not don't to where they can be seen sitting in a seat and things of that nature you know just put those up it, it makes it less of a target